Winnipeg, less than two minutes kept the Winnipeg Jets from a key victory on Thursday night. Unfortunately, 33 seconds took it all away. The New York Islanders, who trailed by two goals three separate times at Bell MTS Place, turned a 4-3 deficit into a 5-4 win with goals from Casey Cizikas and Jordan Eberle 33 seconds apart in the final two minutes of regulation. It was Winnipeg's second consecutive defeat on home ice, when they tie the game, we have to be mature enough to shut the game down and get a point, then try to battle. It out in overtime or a shootout, said Blake Wheeler, who recorded his 69th assist of the season to set a new career high, they did a good job of back pressuring. We weren't able to complete the play when we needed to and they were able to keep the puck in the zone and were able to jump on a couple rebounds, video, postgame. Blake Wheeler Adam Lowry scored twice in the loss, his 10th and 11th goals of the season, while Brandon Tanave and Mark Schiefel each had tallies their own. But the Jets weren't able to put the Islanders away. Each time Winnipeg's lead grew to two, the Islanders would respond. It took the visitors 408, 220, and 103 to turn those two goal cushions into one goal deficits, after the first period we let that game slip away, said Lowry. We were pretty bad in the second period and we were okay in the third for spurts. They had a lot of zone time and they started to generate chances. They kept skating. We let our foot off the gas, the Jets got the start they were looking for, as Lowry's two goals came in the opening 6-11. The first went off his skate following a wraparound attempt from Teneve. The second was a deflection of a point shot from Jacob Truba. But just past the midway mark of the first, Matthew Barzell's 18th of the season, the result of a seam pass to the middle of the ice from Jordan Eberle, pulled the Islanders within one. Winnipeg kept up the pressure early in the second. The Jets took advantage of two Islanders' sticks breaking in the defensive zone leaving Tanev open in the high slot. He ripped his 14th of the season into the top corner on Lanner's glove side to restore the home side's two-goal lead, we have to understand that we have to come out and finish that third period the right way, said Tanev, we'll look at what we could have done better. But at the same time, you go to practice tomorrow with your head high and move on to the next one, video, post-game, Brandon Tan of the back-and-forth affair continued as a too-many-men call, followed quickly by a Kyler Myers cross-checking penalty put the Jets on the penalty kill. That's where Jets head coach Paul Maurice felt the momentum start to change, at 3-2-1 we're in good shape, we're right. We turned a puck over we didn't need to. We're halfway through a line change and we've got too many men on the ice, said Maurice, we didn't come up with enough pucks and win those kind of battles that are so important, the visitors took advantage of the 5-on-3. Anders Lee tipped a Ryan Pulak one-timer by Connor Hellebike on the stick side. It was the just the second power play goal the Islanders had scored in the month of March. Video, post-game, Adam Lowreichy Fulls power play marker with 13-14 left in regulation was the seventh time in the last eight home games the Jets' power play had lit the lamp. His 36th of the season put the Jets up 4-2, but from there, things didn't go Winnipeg's way, they started winning all the battles. They started keeping the puck in the zone. They were winning races to the puck and it showed. They started to control the territory on the ice in the second and it continued in the third, said Lowry, they stuck with their game plan. They're a tough team to play against, it's certainly disappointing, Eberle's 16th of the season got the Islanders back within a goal 103 after Sheeple's marker, the result of a rebound from a Kulak shot from the right circle. Video, post-game, Paul Morey shortly after Hellebike went post to post to keep Eberle from tying the game, Cizek has whacked a loose puck in the crease into the net with 1.46 to go in the game. Shortly after, Eberle found space in front of the Jets' net and went top corner for the eventual game winner, we took a game we were in complete control of and let them back in, said Maurice, if you turn that many. Pucks over, that's what's going to happen, the Jets are now 4-5-2-8-4 on the season with a two-point lead in the Central Division standings, the final home game of the regular season comes on Saturday against the Montreal Canadiens.